Hi right, peeps, this is a uh, ram pump setup I've got down the bottom of my property because a little creek here with a very low rate of flow, but it's enough to uh, run down into this bucket. Works as a standpipe, so the level of this water here is basically the same upstream at that point. Comes to here, fills this bucket up, works as a standpipe out of this bucket. So I've effectively got enough head feeding the ram pump from this height down to the ram pump uh, where it's coming out down the bottom, I'll show you in a second. So I've got from that height, the drive pipe comes out the bottom, water runs down the drive pipe, down I've got, got it going down about a metre thirty at the moment, into the bottom of the ram pump, which is just above creek level. So effectively I've got the flow from the top of that um, sand pipe back there or drum that I'm using to that point there um, you know that's the height it's dropping from to so it comes through this 32 mil pipe I've got a valve there I can turn it off pressure comes up here there's a swing check valve in there I've got it leaned over slightly that gives me more pressure it takes a little bit more to swing the valve up you can adjust it if it's straight up it's sort of normal if it's that way it'll run a bit quicker but you won't get as much pressure so straight up is sort of normal and you get a bit more pressure a bit more height but you don't get as much water running through end result anyway so water comes through here builds that pressure causes a ram shuts that valve opens this little one-way um, spring valve in here forces a little bit of water that way once it this is an air chamber here water uh, the air or water air is air in there so the water goes up into there compresses the air the air pushes all back down and out your what's called the delivery pipe or the pipe that's going up to the tank so out of all the water that's coming out through there a tiny fraction ends up going that way can't go back only go that way 